The first competitive car, uh, contest I entered, I made this black duck and I was so excited about this black duck because I thought it was going to take the whole show. And the black ducks went in and my black duck was the first one out of the tank. And it was very discouraging at the time. The first best of show that I won, I think, was back in 1989, probably in that time frame. And it was at the same show, and uh, when they picked my bird for best of show, I can remember I, I just got up, started screaming, and ran out of the tent. It was being held at a, at a marsh, and I screamed like a chicken all the way around the, the marsh and uh, because it was such a thrill you know I, to be able to come out on top in that competition my name is Tom Christie and I am a passionate decoy carver and six-time world champion I had done a uh, carving Sir Flambeau in the past. I did some teal for them, some uh, pintails, uh, some widgeon, but I was really excited when they contacted me about the mallard uh, series that they wanted to do because the mallard is the bread and butter duck for duck hunters and uh, I was excited. They wanted six different shapes and I told them sign me up. I, I want to be the one that creates the new Flambeau mallard series. This is the, uh, the first bird I ever carved, and this was from 1986. This was a rig of three golden eye that I carved to put out in my hunting rig, and I, get, I got a book out of the library and uh, just took, took a shot at it. It's a little rough, it's got plastic eyes, it's had some abuse because I used it for hunting for several years, but uh, hung on to it because this was really the beginning for me. Yeah, my dad actually started carving about the same time as I did. And where that came from is he was a hunter his entire life. And dad got me involved in hunting uh, as a boy and I just really enjoyed that time in the field together. And where I got hooked on waterfowl uh, hunting was up on the Tippecanoe River. Uh, Dad had hunted the Tippecanoe River with his father and uh, it had become a big tradition for him. And this is a float trip where you take uh, two guys in a boat, float down the river and jump shoot um, ducks. And uh, it was on that one of those first trips where um, dad put me in the front of the boat. I got the gun for the first time as a young boy. And it was my turn uh, to float down the river and try to shoot a duck. And just as we started around the first bend, I heard this mallard hen hail call from way down the river. And it just sent chills through my body and I was hooked from that time on on waterfowl hunting. The, the anticipation of floating around those turns and knowing there was a at least one hen mallard down there somewhere. You know the, in the Chesapeake Bay area of waterfowling the tradition is a rounded bottom on the decoy and uh, those uh, market hunters felt that it handled the waves uh, more naturally with a rounded bottom and they talked to me about um, stripping down the keel and kind of getting back to the basics of the round bottom hunting decoy without a lot of keel on the bottom that takes up room in the bag and gets snagged when you're trying you know it's early in the morning you're trying to get your decoys out you don't need a huge keel hanging off the bottom of your decoy I go through the painting process with a lot of reference materials and also from waterfowl hunting I have uh, uh, reference feathers from various uh, species of ducks and I, I 
refer to those for color, shape, size. The, there's a lot of detail on these decoys, so uh, we wanted to, to make sure that um, the, the feathers were accurately represented, that they were detailed to the point where um, they would be very realistic birds on the water and in the field. And so it took uh, hundreds of hours to create these uh, carvings for flambeau. So I love the whole process from creating, from a drawing of a concept, to the creation of a carving, to the creation of a whole manufacturing process that is able to duplicate that carving in the thousands. And then I think the, my biggest kick is I love waterfowl hunting and I love being a part of that and to think that something that I've created with my hands is going to end up in thousands of hunting parties all over the country during waterfowl uh, season is just a, something that I'm excited about and I wanted to be a part of.